Because they pass through both the elbow joint and the shoulder joint, the biceps enter what is called active insufficiency when shortened at the shoulder joint prior to initiating elbow flexion. So some examples of exercises that do this, preacher curls, concentration curls, machine curls, any type of curl where your elbow's in front of your body. When you put your elbow in front of your body, you're shortening the bicep at the shoulder joint, bringing the muscle as a whole closer to its mid-range in length where its capacity to produce force is gonna be at its highest. When you ask it to perform elbow flexion when your elbow's in front of your body, you're essentially asking the muscle to get into a shorter and shorter relative length position. Its capacity to produce force is gonna decline more and more as you go through the range of motion, and as a result, other muscles are gonna to have to pick up the slack. This is why preacher curls, concentration curls, machine curls preferentially recruit the brachialis at the expense of the biceps. This isn't to suggest that those exercises don't work the biceps, but rather their contribution will be less because of what is called active insufficiency. The biceps will enter passive insufficiency when lengthened at the elbow joint, but shortened at the shoulder joint. So when you're doing a preacher curl, a machine curl, a concentration curl, you can't fully stretch the biceps because they're still shortened at the shoulder joint because your elbow's in front of your body. If you want to lengthen the muscle to the best of its capacity and stretch it throughout its entirety, you need to select an exercise that will allow you to lengthen it at both the shoulder joint and the elbow joint. In this case, a good example would be an incline curl. All of this information should influence the way you do what you do and what you include into your strategy depending on what the fuck you want to accomplish in the first place. If you like the information, share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at. Subscribe to the channel and support me and I'll keep bringing you the best information you're going to find as it relates to trying to build muscle, get stronger, lose fat, look better, perform better, all that fucking shit.